What's going on, my boys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, and this past weekend, I spent it in Chicago for C2E2, which is basically just Comic-Con in Chicago. I mean, these things are all kind of looking the same after a certain point, just a mashup of comic books, anime, and video games at the end of the day, but there's nothing wrong with those three, of course, and I had a grand time. So many cosplayers, so many pictures, so many awesome ideas, so many great concepts, and they're from relevant things like Undertale and, you know, Pokemon and stuff. Awesome event overall, and not just for the fact that I attended it, but also that I was on a panel. Rogers Base, that nigga dragged me out to Chicago talking about, yo, Etika, man, you joining on for that Japan Time live podcast. And it was actually a lot of fun. I was there along with Cabana Mani 456, my nigga Kobe, you already know, Phenomenal EE, and Rogers Base. It was supposed to also be Ricky Cocaine and Shofu, but Ricky Cocaine couldn't show up because of some medical stuff going on, and Shofu didn't show up because he was basically being a flake in the event. Um, no real offense meant there, but it was for good reason. However, he was busy playing Pokken considering that it came out on that day. So obviously his priorities were more focused on making sure that he covers the game in full detail. You know, I mean, it was still would have been nice to have him on the panel because if people were asking for you, dude, niggas kept mistaking EE for Shofu. <laughs> I think at this point now, that's just a running joke. They, they, they know damn well he ain't Shofu, man. But they're just like, you know what, fuck it. Yo, what up, Shofu? I mean, you see the status right there, right? Because of Shofu not showing up, I actually did not get a chance to play Pokken myself, but funnily enough during the event I get a message from Zero talking about, dude, we gotta fucking do Pokken on your channel, man. Let me join in, let me show you the ropes, let me do all the stuff with you on Pokken, and I'm not too hyped for it. I done told you niggas, when it comes to Pokemon, my drive for that game has been at an all-time low for the past few months, but considering it's Zero, and maybe I can learn something from him, Maybe I'll try the game out with him on the channel and I could potentially develop a new flame for Pokemon in a different way. Besides Sun and Moon and Go, I wasn't really feeling the whole Pokemon scene for the 20th anniversary, but who knows, Zero might just be the one to get the drive started in me again. So let me know down below if you would be excited for me doing some Pokemon videos with Zero. And also, this event was great because I got to get a little closer to EE, I got to learn about him. Um, we, we talked a little bit briefly at um, prior events like Evo and Paragon, but we never really had a chance to chill. And this event, basically, I was staying with EE in his room, so we got a chance to really vibe and chill and hang out, make a couple jokes. He's a really cool dude behind the scenes as well. He's not like fake or whatever. Like the way you see him on camera is the way he is in real life and more. So one thing that he did during the event a lot was take a lot of Snapchats and we would be in random places and he would somehow pull the funniest fucking videos that I've ever seen. And I mean, he does this shit as if it's like built into him. Like it's not like he has to try anymore. I think this nigga's done so many Snapchats to the point where like he literally has his phone on standby all the time. I even asked him at one point, my nigga, do you have like your volume key shortcutted to the Snapchat app? Like, come on, nigga. At some point, expect an Etika reacts to Snapchat video. I know, it sounds ridiculous. At one point, there was a there was a time we were eating breakfast, right? And it was me, EE, e., Roger's base, and um, Roger's friend. I can't remember your name. I'm sorry if I'm fucking up there, but we were all eating breakfast, and there was this waitress who, who walked by, and I mean, my nigga, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you real. She had one of the craziest ass to waist ratios I've ever seen. Like her waist was like this, ass was fucking humongous. And I'm like, what the hell? EE, -E, this nigga makes a Snapchat with the breakfast that we had after she served us. She was cleaning up another table next to us and she bent over to clean it. And EE -E filmed our breakfast talking about breakfast, dessert, nigga. <laughs> I was done. I was done. That nigga's a fucking fool. He's an idiot, bro. But that was the moment where I said, I have to make a Snapchat just so I can see these random posts this dude post up. And maybe, maybe on my own regard, I can also use a Snapchat to kind of give more frequent updates. Since my Twitter, I kind of leave it alone a lot of the time. I don't really update it as much as I used to. Because I, 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 I don't like oversaturating my Twitter. But maybe on Snapchat, I can do that kind of thing if you guys want to keep up with me on that level. So yeah. Etika reacts to Snapchat because I already know there's plenty of things that you dudes would send me in that regard. And I and I doubt that it would just be asses. And speaking of asses on my Twitter, I actually had a poll, which I just did for educational purposes, asking you guys exactly what your preference was. I was curious as to what my timeline would prefer in regards to ass over boobs. I made it last for two hours, and at the end of the day, ass won only by a only by a smidgen. The entire time, boobs were winning by a smidgen, but ass pulled in in the end. So it's great to know that there's a good amount of ass lovers in the EWN, a slightly more than boobs. It's such a slight difference that it really doesn't mean anything. Overall, I think we can all agree, both 
is mandatory both are exactly what niggas need but on top of all that somebody made a post in that poll talking about yo etika man these niggas who are choosing boobs i guess they ain't watch no prison school and i'm like prison school what the fuck is that so apparently it's an anime i don't know anything about it nothing of how it looks the characters the plot nothing so i figured hey Maybe when one week is like a serious let's watch, but at some point I'm also going to be doing a let's watch prison school episode one. Like I said, I ain't telling you I'm doing the whole series, but we're going to check out one episode and see exactly what this anime has to offer. First time reaction, totally blind, no knowledge of the anime or what or anything it's about. But if somebody referenced it in regards to a poll about ass and titties, then... Uh, I can make a couple of guesses as to what kind of anime this will be. So look out for that. Might be happening today, might be happening tomorrow. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but you'll know when I do. Moving things off of me and C2E2 and ass and Snapchat and all that stuff, there's actually been some interesting things going on within the gaming community and Nintendo in general. And one of the most controversial things that's happened this week was the whole NX controller leak. I think it's already been proven fake at this point. One of the screens was used from a, an Unreal Engine 4 tech demo, uh, but still. I wanted to leave my initial opinion on it regardless because well, as soon as I saw this thing initially, I thought it looked like some kind of sex toy from the distant future. I mean, it looks so fucking bizarre for a controller scheme, and I mean, at least the Steam controller sort of pulls off the whole no sticks thing. I mean, this thing has sticks, and it looks for fucking worse than the Steam controller. I'm glad that it was proven false. I would not have been happy with a design like this, but it seems like that was the unanimous cry of the entire internet. No one liked this. Although, one thing I did like was the fact that the display on the controller did seem to be really crispy, really clear, but I don't like the fact that there's no physical buttons as most of you would agree, so thank god this did not turn out to be something real and hopefully when the NX does actually get revealed they have a design which has been worked over for a long time and that gives us all a really well fit ergonomic way to play our games, but I'm, I'm betting. There's definitely going to be more than one control scheme for that thing at launch. But either way, I'm glad it ain't this shit. Another thing that happened within the gaming community, with Nintendo and stuff, is that Pokemon Go footage for Android, I'm, well I'm not sure exactly what OS it was being played on, but Pokemon Go footage has been leaked. This has been another mystery unicorn of the Pokemon gaming community in general, because we didn't really know what this game would look like. All we had were the amazing trailers that showed Mewtwo and fucking Times Square. We have some gameplay footage. Now, if we're looking at what Cerebi is saying about this, it says that during the South by Southwest convention in Austin, Texas, otherwise known as SXSW, John Hank of Niantic's lab held a panel on augmented reality gaming, and within this panel, it appears that the first footage of Pokemon Go has been shown. During the footage, an overlay of Google Maps was shown with a trainer and Ivysaur. This then instigated a battle using the augmented reality with the camera to catch an Ivysaur. Pokeballs were thrown before switching to a Master Ball where it was caught. The footage also indicated about usage of crystals. The usage of them is not currently known, but we'll provide more details on that as well as this game as it comes. But an edit happened at 11.21 saying Twitter user Tom Woodhead has posted an image which showcased the map even clearer and in the distance. Some symbols can be seen that match the Pokemon Gym symbols from the main series. Now, I've heard a lot of mixed reactions in regards to what people initially thought about this game. A lot were negative, a lot were positive, but at the end of the day, they're all bullshit because we only have, what, like a minute and 19 seconds of footage for this game? So we're gonna check it out right now. I did not see any of the footage beforehand, so this will be a first time reaction to the Pokemon Go leaked footage from the South by Southwest convention in Texas. Let's see exactly what Pokemon Go has going on for it, and I'll let you guys know if I think it's hot or not. But regardless of what I think, at the end of the day here, I'm not gonna use that as a solid way to judge if this game will be good or not. I'm excited for Pokemon Go, as I said before. Let's see what this is. Will there even be audio at this point? Maybe not. But yeah, here we go. We have some footage here. It's shot on a cell phone camera, but at least it isn't totally potato status. Um, is it gonna play at some point? Here we go, here we go, okay. So they're on Google Maps right now. Oh, interesting. That's the way it's gonna look, my nigga? Um, okay, alright. Alright, so... Obviously, it wouldn't be as seamless as it looked in the goddamn trailers, right? But it, it, it's it's kind of cool. The fact that the Ivysaur stays on the camera. I mean, okay. And it does have the detection of knowing that the grass is there. So Ivysaur, it can literally tell you that he's standing on it. And the Pokeball bounces off the grass. So the grass is what he's seeing on the camera in the real world, right? 
Okay, I mean... Like, I mean, what, what did niggas really expect? That you were gonna fucking be able to get fucking pinpoint accuracy with the augmented reality and that you were gonna be able to turn a corner and see the nigga? I mean, like, the technology isn't really there for super advanced um, augmented reality stuff going on just yet. I mean, maybe we'll be there in, like, five years or whatnot, but I still don't think this is that bad, considering. I mean, it does have um, the detection of the floor, which is cool, but, of course, now, we're gonna probably get a really buggy first version of this, and it will be getting patched as time goes on, but we gotta be a little bit lenient with it here, man. Augmented reality, I feel, is still in its infant stages in terms of being taken seriously and being used for deep gaming. I mean, the 3DS had it, but, I mean, you saw how that went, man. So, I mean, I don't know, guys. We shouldn't judge so early, but at the same time, we shouldn't be expecting a ton from this game. The fact that it does give you the ability to just go outside and randomly encounter Pokemon, in implementing Google Maps with the system, I think that's cool enough as it is. And, I mean, you can just walk down the street and find a different Pokemon than the one that you've seen previously, maybe on your own street. That alone is a cool concept. So, I mean, yeah, don't be too harsh on it. I think it still has a ways to go. But hopefully by the time this thing launches, we'll have, uh, we'll have a decently acceptable polished version of it that will entertain us. And that's, that's what matters at the end of the day. It doesn't have to be super perfect um, reality in, it, in your phone. But I mean, as long as it's enough to give us some hours of fun, then I'm fine with that. That was the Pokemon Go leaked footage. I will leave that in the description for you guys to check out for yourselves. And let me know in the comments what you think of it. So now in regards to other stuff, more personal stuff before we end this video, my Red Robin shirts that I did with Akai Riot are on sale for four more days. So I, I saw in my emails that a lot more of you have been purchasing as of late. And this is obviously, I guess, because more people were able to access money. Maybe more of you got paid or maybe more of you robbed some niggas or whatever. So big thanks to all of you guys for buying the shirts. But there is one concern that I have. Now, we have 385 shirts sold, but apparently there's a lot more people that wanted to order the shirt but just couldn't get it because of shipping issues. Apparently, the shipping for this shirt does not go as far as I thought it did. And there's a lot of regions like I think Sweden and Denmark which were not able to receive the shirt. And I, I really do feel bad about that. So one thing that I want you guys to do is to check out the straw poll survey that I have in the description. In the straw poll, I basically ask you where you stand with the shirt. I asked if you want the shirt, but you're not able to get it due to the shipping not reaching you. Or do you not want the shirt, period, have no interest whatsoever. Or you want the shirt and you were able to get it. Now, of course, the biggest answer is going to be, I have no interest in the shirt whatsoever. I mean, that's just real. But I mean, if there's a lot of you guys that wanted to get the shirt but couldn't because it doesn't ship to you, that's going to be a problem. And we might have to never use Booster again because I don't think that they'll even open up the shipping for different regions, even if I ask them to. So this survey is somewhat important. This applies to everybody. Even if you didn't buy a shirt, even if you weren't interested in the shirt, let me know in that survey in the description so that way I can properly gauge things. And this will not just help with the shipping issue, but just in general with all the shirts that I do in the future, I'll be able to use this survey information to help make my shirt campaigns more applicable to you. Or maybe if you're not interested, I can make a design that appeals to you so that you would be interested in maybe purchasing one later on. Um, either way, let me know what your stuff is with that whole thing in the description, excuse me, in the comments, as well as in the survey. So all in all, that is basically everything that I need to talk about with you guys today. There's a couple of other topics as well, too, um, like Nintendo NX news in the future, a couple of things with the Nintendo Direct that recently happened. And I know a lot of you dudes wanted to hear my opinions on that. So I do plan on giving you my thoughts on some of the topics from the Nintendo Direct that interested me the most. Also, some of you were asking about Fire Emblem. When are you going to get back on point with it? Are you going to be streaming it anytime soon? And yes, I definitely will be. Guys, I will let you all know the details with the Fire Emblem stuff very soon. As you know, I do the scheduled streams, so I'll let you know. You'll be able to see with that when I'm streaming them. But yeah, we're going to go back to our regular basis with the streams of the Fire Emblem stuff. Not to mention the fucking sandwich. That still has to be worked on as well, too. But anyways, guys. I am out of this bitch, and I will talk to you in the next video. Stay tuned, take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.